introduce our first speaker, uh, Marwa Abdullah. Marwa is a sophomore at MIT, ladies and gentlemen, Massachusetts Institute of Technology uh, in Cambridge, majoring in computer science. Marwa was admitted to top Ivy League schools, including Harvard, Cornell, Caltech, but chose to attend MIT. Having seen the challenges of Muslims living in India, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and the United States, Marwa has made it her personal mission to help end the struggles of women and poor children globally, and she helped co-fund the New Jersey chapter of Indian Muslim Relief and Charities. Marwa takes every opportunity to immerse herself in the cultures of many and identifies herself as a citizen of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's help welcome Marwa. We cannot 
cannot change their condition uh, overnight, but we can make a difference. We sure can alleviate their suffering by donating to the much needed humanitarian supplies, food, medicines, drinking water, tents, doctors, that can help tide their unfortunate situation for a few days, for a few months. To my Muslim brothers and sisters in the audience, Ramadan is going to begin next week. It is a month of charity. It is a month of fasting. Especially to, em to empathize with the people who are suffering the pangs of hunger and starvation all across the world. The children, women, and elderly of Syria deserve our charity, our zakat, and our help. To my Christian and Jewish brothers and sisters and people of all faiths in the audience, the people of Syria need our humanitarian support at this juncture in whatever shape we can, big or small. The hadith and tradition of Prophet Muhammad on zakat and sadaqah are very well known. And let me relate a story to you. Once a man came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and asked, which charity is most superior in reward? The Prophet Muhammad replied, the charity that you give when you are healthy, when you are miserly, when you are aspiring to become wealthy and are afraid of falling into poverty if you donate your money. That is the charity that is best in the eyes of God. And to all of the young people in the audience, don't wait, because now is the time. Zakat and charity, giving to the poor, it never makes us any poorer. On the contrary, it is God's promise that zakat, that charity, will only increase our wealth. Who is better to promise than the Lord of the world, who owns everything on this earth and the entire universe? The Prophet of, of Allah, or the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, has said that seven people will have the shade of God on the day of judgment. One amongst them will be the person who practices charity secretly whose left hand doesn't know that his right hand has given donated and has given. The orphan children of Syria desperately need our help. The women who are dying of hunger and disease and who are unable to help their children, yet alone help themselves, need our help. What better month to donate than this upcoming month of Ramadan? And what better people to support and help than the orphan children and innocent people caught in a war that is not of their doing. <coughs> to my Christian brothers and sisters, to my Jewish brothers and sisters and people of all faith in this room, it is our obligation to lessen the suffering of the Syrian people. Perhaps a few dollars that we donate can heal their wounds, can buy them a few meals to satisfy their extreme hunger. A few dollars that we donate can help buy tents to protect them from the extreme heat and cold. A few hours we spend packaging clothes can you know, provide them with security in the winter months. The few dollars that we donate can provide them with an education so that they can bring their family up and, you know, and cause change in their communities. It will at least help them grow up to be productive members of society and believe in their hearts that the people of America thought of them. They brought, they thought of them in their time of need and helped them in whatever way they could. The vision of New Day Syria touches my heart. One person at a time, one step closer to humanity. It shows that we all can pitch in with whatever little we have, whether it be money and whether it be time, whether it be talking to your friends on one evening about the, the situation that's happening. I know the kind of commitment that you need and the scope of impact that you can make in the lives of orphan children as part of my experience working with the Indian Muslim Relief Ch and Charities Open Project. I went there two summers ago, and I can still remember visiting the orphanages in Hyderabad, India, the smiles on the girls' faces with their caretaker, Kajabi, and the dreams and their aspirations to, you know, one day 
become an engineer, become a policeman or woman, <laughs> and become a teacher. And supporting a child through New Day Syria is just $600. So when my family and I started supporting orphan children last year, and we started to package clothes to send to, 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 you know, to Turkey and to uh, the refugee camps, and we started receiving pictures from Sister Nadia of the kids we were supporting, I felt that through these small efforts, we were bringing humanity closer. And through talking with my friends, we were spreading awareness of a cause that was so important. When I was looking at the pictures of the orphan children, I could only think of the, of the children in India and my little sister. So tonight, I urge all of you to donate generously, thinking that these are your children and these are our children that are in harm's way and that they need our help and our support to see the bright sunshine of tomorrow. May God help New Day Syria, help the Syrian people, and may God bless our country, the United States of America. Let's have another round of applause for that. And to see someone of Marwa's age and achievements uh, devoting her energies to this uh, type of cause is so encouraging. And um, so next I'm just going to talk a little bit about what New Day Syria 